If you are thinking of pitching yourself as a guest of podcast host, I want you to remember these three words first, service over selling. It's something I preach to my students and clients because I'm so passionate about it, even more so now that I've started my own show. Podcast hosts work really hard to grow a community of listeners, and those listeners show up every week, trusting the podcast host will deliver content that brings value to their busy lives. And podcast hosts aren't looking for guests to come on and sell to their listeners. They're looking for guests who will serve their listeners. And potential guests that already have a relationship with the host go to the top of the list. As somebody who's been pitching podcasts week in and week out for the past two years, I've seen this, whether it's a huge show that's been around for years or a brand new show just getting started. Service over selling. So how can you start building relationships and serving podcast hosts before you even send your podcast pitch? Today, I'm sharing six ways. Number one, leave a thoughtful review for their show. Podcast hosts get tons of pitches each week. They want to know if you even listen to the show and are familiar with the audience they serve. If you're a regular listener, let them know. If you just discovered the show, listen to an episode or two first. Leaving a review shows your support for all the hard work the host puts into the show, and it shows potential listeners that it's worth their time to tune in. Hey, a pro tip on leaving reviews. Be sure and leave your name at the end of the review because I know sometimes our um, Apple ID usernames are some random username that we came up with a million years ago. So you can either change your nickname if you're on Apple or just sign with your real name or even your Instagram username because a lot of times podcast hosts will share those reviews and they want to be able to tag them. I know that's happened to me. I have had somebody leave a review and I love to give a shout out to all the ones that leave reviews on my show and also give a shout out to their book or their podcast. And if I don't know what your name is, I can't do it. Plus, that'll get the host familiar with your name for whenever you get around to pitching them. Then later, when you pitch the host, you can mention, hey, by the way, I left you a five-star review of your show. It could be just a little PS at the end of your pitch, or you may want to start out letting them know that as you tell them how much you love their show. Speaking of reviews, I want to give a shout out to one of my listeners who left a review of the show. Heather says, I just launched my own book and I have listened to every single one of the episodes. Kim is authentic and has a servant's heart for genuinely helping authors and their marketing strategies. Every episode leaves me encouraged, inspired, and motivated to do better with the ideas given by herself and her guest. Oh my gosh, thank you, Heather. Heather Frank is the author of Gracefully Navigating Anxiety, Gospel Direction for a Peace-Filled Mindset. I highly recommend you reading it and you connect with Heather on Instagram at the Heather Frank. Now let's get back to our episode sharing six ways to build relationships with podcast hosts before pitching. Number two, share their episodes with your friends and followers on social and tag the host. You can take a screenshot on your phone of the show in your podcast player and share that on Instagram stories or Facebook stories. You can also share directly from their Instagram or Facebook post to make it even easier. Just go over to their page, see their episode listed there and share it with your friends and followers and make a little note about what you got out of that episode. Are they active on LinkedIn? If they're also authors and coaches, likely they are over there today because times are changing and lots of people are flocking over to LinkedIn. Leave a comment on their post there. That is super rare. Number three, follow the host or podcast on social and engage with their content. Y'all, this is different than number two, where we talked about sharing the content that's already out there that they've put or sharing our own content. This is simply about engagement, engaging with their posts. That's what we all want on social media, right? We're like, why does anybody like our post or comment on our post? Be sure to read what they have in their captions because they likely have left a question. What did you think of today's episode? Uh, Tag a friend that needs to listen to today's episode. Be sure and notice that and respond. So respond with a nice comment or tag a friend. Somehow let them know you support what they're doing. So engage with their content. Then number four, you can reply to their stories and start genuine conversations. And again, let them know what you loved about this week's episode. But don't be annoying. This is just simply about engaging with their content and starting a conversation and starting a relationship. 
Okay, so don't just pitch right away. And really don't pitch at all unless you know that's their preference to be pitched in their DMs. You can even ask later as you get to know each other, you can ask them, hey, can you share a link to your guest submission form if they have one? Or what's the best email address to send a guest pitch to? Just simply like that. Don't pitch yourself. Just simply ask that question so that you can follow up later. Hey, and pro tip for all these um, steps so far that I've mentioned that are social related, be sure to check out your social profile. If somebody gets tagged and doesn't know who you are, they're likely going to click over to your social profile to check you out. Is it obvious right away what you do and who you do it for? What kind of writing do you do and who is your target audience? Are you a podcast host? Is any of that mentioned in your profile? If you need some help with that, be sure to tune in to episode four, where Ruthie Gray gave us some great tips on our Instagram bios. If you're engaging on Facebook, look at your profile. Does it link to your author page? Is the cover updated on your author page? Potential hosts might look at any of these and think, oh, wow, there's the guest I've been looking for to cover XYZ topic. I just had that happen to me on this show. I had a specific topic on my content calendar and had been asking for recommendations from friends, and I just didn't feel it was a right fit between the topic and potential guest suggestions. And I already had some of the recommendations on my list for other topics anyway. And I just about decided that maybe I just need to cover this topic myself when God brought someone into my path for a different reason. And when I went and checked them out on social, it was like, ding, 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 there's my guest for my topic. I just want you to keep that in mind. If you're building relationships with podcast hosts on social media, they're likely going to click over to see who you are and what you're about. So make it very obvious there. You'd be a perfect guest for their show, right? In your bio. Number five, subscribe to their email list and read and reply to emails. Oh my gosh, was the recent Instagram Facebook outage not our lesson learned on how important it is to be able to communicate with your followers and your readers through email? If you're like me and you subscribe to a lot of emails, you're probably still deleting all the, can we talk while Facebook is down? Emails that really just wanted to sell us something this week. (laughs) I took the opportunity to email my list with tips on how they could use this outage to their advantage and get on the radar of podcast hosts by communicating through email. It's so hard these days to build an engaged list that actually opens your emails because we're just flooded with so many. But it's way harder to get your email subscribers to reply to you. I know from being on both sides of it. So when someone replies an email, you notice. Plus, pro tip, when you sign up for someone's email list and you receive their autoresponder, now you have their most current email address to make a note of for whenever you do get to pitching. Number six, if you're a podcast host, ask them to be a guest on your show first, if it's a fit for your audience. You can craft a personalized pitch, just like you would when pitching yourself. But this time, you're pitching your show and you're inviting them to be a guest on your show. And then through your interview, the host will discover what an incredible communicator you are, how important it is to you to bring valuable content to your own listeners, and they'll no doubt realize you're the perfect guest for their show. And even if they don't, you can easily follow up after the show airs, thanking them for serving your audience and sharing how you'd like to do the same for theirs. Okay, y'all, so let's recap again. These are six ways to build relationships with podcast hosts long before pitching. Number one, leave a thoughtful review for their show. Number two, share their episodes with your friends and followers on social and tag the host. Number three, follow the host or podcast on social and engage with their content in the comments. Number four, reply to their stories and start genuine conversations. Again, not pitching, just genuine conversations and getting to know each other. Number five, subscribe to their email list and read and reply to the emails they send out. Number six, if you're a podcast host, ask them to be a guest on your show first if it's a fit. Service over selling. It's the name of the game in podcast guesting, and it starts long before you start podcast pitching. Take some time today to build relationships with podcast hosts, and trust me, it's worth the investment, and they will remember you. And if you need some help getting started pitching yourself to podcasts, or you're looking to outsource your podcast pitching, check out my services and DIY course at bookmarketingmania.com. Y'all, I'm so thankful for you tuning in each week and sharing encouragement with me about what you're learning on the show. 
Know that I'm here cheering you on as I help you market your book one podcast at a time. See you next week.